Thursday, February 11th, 2021 at 5.30 p.m. sharp. It's going to be a great auction, guys. We do them live virtual right here at the auction house. Um, I'll explain in a little bit what live virtual is. It says I'm going to give you quite the preview tonight. Live virtual is this. You get to come in during the day, uh, 12 to 4 p.m., on auction day and preview the items live. You get to see everything come in, touch, feel, measure, whatever you need to do. And at 5.30 sharp, we go live online, right on our platform, you go through our site. Um, and it is a live auction, it is not just a bid platform. You don't see like a photograph of this chair and it sits there and goes beep, beep, beep. How boring would that be? Nope, we are live virtual. So say we come onto this painting, our cameraman comes on it, you'll hear me say it is an oil painting or watercolor, whatever it is, and the artist's name, and you go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 35, 35, 40, and you just bid on it just like you were here in the room, except for you type that in right there on the chat panel. As you see the picture right next to it is your chat panel. And you bid on the item. Say, for instance, Yadro. We come up, we go, X lot number is a Yadro. $25, $35, $40 bid, $50 buy. If you want to be 50, you just type in 50 before the next person gets the opportunity to do that. And when the bidding closes out, when everybody stops bidding, the top bidder owns it. And I say sold to you just like you're sitting here in the crowd. Cool concept. And a lot of cool items for this sale, guys. This is going to be a rocking auction. This is our February 11th sale. That's Thursday, February 11th at 5.30 p.m. sharp. And if you can't attend the auction, you can always leave us bids. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do that. You can come in for inspection and get with Jen, uh, Betsy, or myself and actually just leave them the bids. And we'll proxy it from the block for you. Or... If you can't do that, say this is the item you want, and you go on the site, you snap a screenshot of it and text it over to either of our numbers because it'll go through. Um, we we'll get text forwarding on those, on the office numbers, and boom, you know, make sure you got your buyer number and your uh, bid range and max bid. If you want me to keep you in for one more bid, say you say go up to $25 on that office chair and somebody bids $27.50, they're going to get it unless you tell us do a plus one bid. That allows us to go ahead and bid one more time for you um, if it's close in your increments. But we can explain all that to you in person. Just come on out, check it out. It's going to be a great auction, guys. It's going to kick butt. I am totally freaking excited about this auction. Uh, we got a lot of cool stuff, and I'm just getting warmed up here. So we're going to venture around here. We've got some outdoor storage, some fans, rugs, vacuum cleaners, shelving, uh, tanks, you name it. We've got it. Got these really great outdoor furniture pieces. This does them no justice. These are the nice iron pieces. They're a really nice shape. Uh, by the way, the order I'm going in this video is not maybe exact, but pretty darn close to the order that we're going to run the auction. So you got a pretty good idea of when your items are going to run. Um, by the order we go in. Now, that stuff you see in the back behind this row I'm showing right now is our box lots. Those will be the last thing we do of the night. Uh, we jump in here to do this front row first. Got some really cool stuff. This is your good warm-up video right here. And guys, the coolness hasn't even started yet, so stay on here on this video with me. Sneak peek. That's our box lots for later, but I will get to those and give you a more detailed view. Um, so yeah, this is this is a great thing. We're really enjoying doing the auction like this. It's easier on our customers. It's more efficient for our clients because we're getting through more product because we've got room to put out more product in the, uh, the auction house so that we can get them cleared out quicker. And you guys don't have to sit here elbow to elbow all night long, you know, on the if come and hope you buy one item. And some of you guys come from out of the area and, you know, there's been times and I used to feel really bad, you know, like you guys are driving an hour and a half to get here, sit here all night and get, you know, maybe got outbid on everything that night. And you go home next to empty handed and you sat there. Now, you know exactly what you bought and you know exactly what equipment to bring to pick it up in the morning. And it's just great. It's just the way to go. Dining sets. We've got vintage tools. Check that out. That's a cool lot right there. 
Um, we've got President Clinton figuring out how to not get impeached back in the day. I think that's Clinton. It looks like him. <laughs> I might be kidding. All right, we're going to bring it down here. We've got suitcases. we got uh, grass trimmers, hedge trimmers, uh, vintage stuff. we got a whole tray full of vintage airplanes. Check it out. Some really nice nesting tables. We have these beautiful folding chairs. Uh, those are some old, oldies, guys. Pay attention there. Stools. Um, all kinds of neat collectibles. We've got some really wild stuff that's just going to blow your mind. So stay on board here with me on this video, guys, because you are going to not want to miss all the cool stuff that we have coming up. Like I say, we haven't even barely touched the surface yet on what we have for Thursday night's auction. All right, so I'm jumping right back around here. And check it out. We've got the Crossman BB gun. We've got some great file cabinets. Clocks galore. Um, going to be a great, great sale, guys. I think we're going to alternate here. So we're going to go over here. We're going to jump on this side, do a few of these pieces. Because there's some really neat stuff over here I don't want you to miss out on. So definitely stay tuned and be on for the auction. Look at this. Wow. We've got some Ertl. Got some Ertl, cool Ertl uh, old toys, guys. Really nice. Got some excellent hunt pictures right here. Get your mind out of the gutter. I said hunt <laughs> and clocks and the uh, boss hog uh, steer horns. Guys, I make a lot of jokes, so remember that. If I tell you it's going to be one of those moments to cover the kids' ears, be ready. So we've got these really great Wedgwood Christmas mugs. Yadros galore. This is a Yadro heavy sale, so we're going to have a lot of good Yadros. They've got the boxes. Really nice pieces. Um, we got a little Yadro fish. We've got all kinds of memorabilia collectible stuff. Cool purses. Lots of really neat jewelry. A lot of really neat jewelry. We've got the food and wine decanters. We've got this gorgeous decanter right here. We'll back out here. We've got these two cool display towers. I'm going to shoot back over here. Look at this beautiful outdoor um, nice ice cream for, for ice cream set. Uh, cast iron. We've got some beautiful horse collectibles, salt and peppers, nice tables. Phenomenal, phenomenal piece of furniture right here. Got the pass holder. I love to cook plates, fish plates. Spin you back around here. Guess what else we have more of? Yadro City, guys. Yes, it is. It's going to be great. We have the uh, really cool uh, sunglasses, our Ray-Bans. Those are authentic. We have Timex pieces, a whole tray full here of really cool collectibles. The really neat wine bottle and the wine uncorker and the cool vintage table. Got some beautiful jewelry. I mean, some of this stuff is really stunning. Uh, another Yadro. Check it out. He's cool. It's cool as can be. And I'm going to bring you back over here. All right, let me flip the light on here. We're going to walk around the corner and go into the electronics room. All right, this is Guy Paradise here now. Check it out. We've got DVD players of all kinds. DVD players, players, players. We've got all kinds of CD players, Pioneer Amp. Uh, we've got Technique speakers. Um, going to give you a little boom, little boom. Yeah, cover the kids' eyes. Um, we got some uh, tasteful nude pictures and stuff. And we've got a Polaroid Land adapter kit. we got this really cool uh, thermostat, thermometer. Yeah, thermometer, that's what it is. APC power supplies galore. We've got speakers. Uh, we've got Malena. Malena, our lady Malena. Um, on silver dollars. Cool, huh? Yep, now we've got some uh, other cool, really neat screens. Uh, huge subwoofer. Wow, do we have some neat stuff. Um, we're over here, we've got the realistic double-decker. And then we've got power and filtration. It's a Panamax. I am not exactly sure what the Panamax does. I'm thinking, yep, yeah, it's a power source. Okay. And then we've got a laminator. We've got an airport extreme. Yep. We've got this really amazing. This one's nice. It's a cyber power uh, power unit. 
Fisher speakers. Um, we've got the Japanese pair right here. DVD players. Got it all, guys. I'm going to walk it back around the corner. Remember, I try to keep this pretty much in the order we're going to do the auction. And we've got some beautiful art. Really nice artwork pieces right here. Zoom down. Nope, that's a fence, not a signature. Okay, just wanted to make sure. All right, we're over here. We have old patterns. You guys know you like these. Got some Disney collectible coins. Got some pigs. Uh, some really great jewelry again. A lot of really, really good quality. It's costume, but really good quality. Uh, beautiful, beautiful solid wood frame mirror, nautical mirror. Um, we've got the pair right here of, now zoom in here for you, um, Catherine's collection, a pair of bunnies. Got this really nice croc. And we're going to come up here. We've got a 44 piece set of Noritake Celeste. Oh, this is, this is a nice set, guys. Do your research on it. Make sure you take it home with you. We've got the Pinocchio mask. We've got the actually friendly little doll. Usually they're creepy dolls, but that one looks friendly. Uh, we've got some great collector bowls right here. Some brass animals. Bringing it back around. Um, we've got some great candle holders. We've got this really nice table set. I'll get a good zoom out for you. Got this beautiful solid wood, brand new. I don't think it's ever been used. Uh, sushi set, which is really nice. And bring it back out here. Some more quality vintage jewelry. These really cool um, table set with rocks in the middle. And we've got jugs, etc. All right, so now we're going to scoot over here. We have a TV stand. We've got some great pieces. Some really pretty, pretty china pieces. And nice tables. We've got a beautiful sofa. Uh, this really grand fireplace and we'll bring it over here. We've got some copper rounds and uh, Then we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna stick up front here for a little bit We have collector cars Matchbox, etc. Really cool tab glasses. How long has it been since you've seen tab another Donald Trump coin uh, a couple of frogs, some really nice napkin holders. I am not sure if they're sterling or not. I'm not thinking so, but I will check on that before auction time for you. Um, bringing it back over here, we've got more collectibles. And here we've got a 33-piece set of Val Saint Laurent French plates. And all kinds of cool stuff over here. So bringing it back over. Uh, my gimbal wants to do a follow, and it shouldn't be. All right, here we go. We got Erty. We've got glassware. May as well catch these while we're up here. Um, we've got the Disney mug sets of all different sizes and colors. Well, all different colors. Pretty darn cool. All right, we're going to bring you back around over here. And we're going to scoot on down this way. We've got this really nice glass top table set. Uh, lots of decor. Got this beautiful cream-colored sofa and love seat. Really nice set. And, yeah, it's super clean. Came out of a beautiful home. Got some really, really, really cool primitive uh, antique type stuff, too, guys. So check this out. That is really awesome. And more tables. We've got little animal sculptures. Uh, another table set. Ouch. That's called Leg Connecting with Table. More really cool jewelry. It's uh, it's going to be great auction. So make sure that you are on for this one. We've got stamp books, stamp collections, pearls. Um, I believe, I'm not sure if they're all real or if some of those are real on there. As far as the pearls goes, I'll check with Bev and she'll let me know. Because she was looking through them the other day. Uh, we've got tables, chairs, more really cool jewelry. Uh, flaps full of awesome china, guys. You know, it's we'd love to sell one teacup at a time, but it just it doesn't work that way because we have to liquidate these estates so quickly. So you're getting to buy flatfuls of them, you know, pennies on the dollar. So be fair on this stuff. We're going to be fair with our clients, uh, but you're getting some great deals. We've had some amazing things come through here lately and some beautiful deals. And, uh, you know, be fair. The more fair you are with your opening bids, the faster we get done and the earlier we can go home. 
because let's face it guys if an item's worth 200 bucks and that's what it's going to bring it doesn't matter if you start at a five it's still going to go up there and that's the crazy thing that happens uh here's i know these are real pearls and those are sterling on the masks um you know when you start something now way cheap 25 hands go up or you know 25 bids come in and you know next thing you know it brings way more than you ever would have wanted to pay for it um people always ask me how do i how do i buy a decent deal at auction open it fairly because you get rid of that overtaking greed factor from happening um you know when something's you know going for 10 percent of what it's worth you're going to have 50 people jump on it where you know if it's going up closer to you know a fair market value you'll have a few people who are willing to pay that just saying but, you know, so that that's what gets us done before midnight is if you guys don't start something at five that I got to sit there and be calling bids for 10 minutes on and it ends up going for 500. So let's be fair. Um, but, yeah, you know, it's everything that you get here is a good bargain anyway. So, like I say, be fair. We'll get you in, out, and done at a reasonable hour. We've got some really great items. I'm going to take you back to the back to give you the walkthrough for the box lots. I don't think I missed anything. Of course, I don't think I mentioned every single piece. But it's going to be a great auction. Don't forget, this is Thursday, February 11th, 2021 at 5.30 p.m. So, ready to rock and roll. Uh, box lots looking good. We've got some good stuff in these box lots this week. Um, not that we don't every single week, but this is this is going to be a good one. There's some really neat stuff that I'm seeing as I'm going through here. And I'm going, ooh, cool, cool, cool. You know, I could almost fall in love with all this stuff myself and buy way too much. And, uh, yeah, i got to behave myself, too. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it is what it is, though. But, you know, this is fun. That's the whole key to it. And sometimes people tell me, I bought so much, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Well, recycle. Because guess what? We take consignments, too. So say you bought a bunch of stuff and for home and now you don't have room for your other stuff get rid of the old stuff bring it over here auction it off so you can buy some more new stuff you know that's what we do sometimes we have the purge of the house and go you know what this stuff's got to go we want to change things up a little bit but that's the joy of living guys you know sometimes somebody will say to me oh my god i i went five dollars over what i wanted to pay for that and i'm like you know if you love something and you pay five dollars more and you really enjoy it who cares five dollars ten dollars you know who really cares about paying a few extra dollars when you really like something i get when you're buying for resale you got to have a margin and everything but if you love it bid on it buy it you know that's uh especially this one-of-a-kind kind of stuff so all right i'm rambling um guys it's going to be a great auction I'm going to give you the last preview through and get the pictures done, get the email out for the night. If you're not on our email list, please make sure you get signed up. If you have questions, excuse me, give us a call at 407-917-7355 or visit us on the web, orlando-auctions.com. That's Orlando, the hyphen sign, auctions.com. Or go directly to bronsteinauction.com. That's B-R-O-N-S-T-E-I-N auctions.com. And check out our amazing auction house here. We have our auctions every Thursday and the first and third Saturday of each month. And sometimes we even have more than that. So make sure you get on our email list so you don't miss an auction that we have coming up or a sale. You guys have a wonderful evening. Thanks for hanging out on the video with me. And